Hey buddy, Tails here. Um, I meant to make a uh, video last week, but um, I just haven't really had much of the time to uh, actually make a video. But uh, right now I do have the time. Um, half of the reason I haven't been uh, making a video was because I uh, just got the uh, Rise of Skywalker. And uh, let me even... Yeah, as you can see, I'm already on uh, Return of the Jedi. Um, overall... <laughs> I've been like playing it since like day one and I'm already on Empire Strikes Back, which I mean, that is crazy. So uh, anyway, so yeah, that's uh, the first thing um, that I'll actually start off showing you guys. So uh, let, you know, let me just pause my game. And uh, yeah, got the uh, Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga. Unfortunately, I did not get the uh, deluxe edition or anything, but um, yeah, I got uh, Skywalker Saga. I pre-ordered it like two years ago, so I mean... Uh, like, never really, like, pre-ordered a ton of games, like, two years ago, but, um, yeah, I, I wish I got that deluxe edition, but, I mean, I've been waiting two years for this game, so I've been, like, playing it, like, for, like, the past, like, I don't know, like, yeah, like, past, past, past two, three days, so, there you go. Uh, next up, um, I'll actually just start off with, I'll actually, um, show you what I got from, uh, Five Below. I got two, uh, magnets, uh, these two Inuyasha magnets from Five Below. They were both three fifty a piece. So uh, I don't really grab magnets, but I mean, I just really like these designs for these Inuyasha uh, magnets. So uh, yeah, those are those are a keeper. I'm just gonna put them somewhere where uh, it won't damage any of my electronics. Um, here's a random manga book, uh, Cheese Sweet Home. Uh, I just like. Um, I like cats, I like cat books and everything, and this just, uh, looks interesting. I, um, thought I had the first one, but it's actually, um, Fuku Fuku, uh, Kitten Tales, but, um, I'm sure I can find, like, the first volume on Amazon or something. Who knows? Maybe I'll show you, like, that if I ever find it. Uh, just random, but I just got, like, three boxes of bottle caps. If you've never had these, these are super underrated candies. It's, it's almost like Spree, but, like, they're these just, um bottle cap like candies and uh, i actually do collect bottle caps um myself i have like bags and bags in my closet but yeah i just love these there's like root beer strawberry and all that and uh yeah there's some random pez thing which i'll actually go into next i got i saw these at my uh local grocery store i got all all three sonic the hedgehog pez dispensers sonic tails and knuckles and uh yeah, I think that Tails, that's my next profile pick. Yep, they each each have candies. I used to have like a whole bunch of these, but I um I brought them to a Command D. I still have a few left, but I don't really like need any of them. I have like an old Batman one, but I don't really need it. But I mean these I'll be keeping, especially especially Tails. I definitely want that Tails. I mean I'm keeping all of these. I'm not, not like I'm gonna sell any of these. But uh yeah, just a few random things. And this this my mom Got me this um, Book of Spells uh, PS3 game. Still sealed. It has like the original book and everything. I've never actually seen this uh, Wonder Book before. I think this is like one of the few games that actually has this uh, Wonder Book thing. I mean, I rarely see these like anywhere. I mean, I've seen like just the game, but I've never seen like the book accessory. So yeah, this is just like a Harry Potter inspired uh PS3 game, still sealed. Um, my mom found it for uh, $10. She uh, wanted to pay shipping uh, for something she was getting for uh, for like something, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, she just found this, uh, thought I would want it. And uh, yeah, box is a little damaged, but I mean, still sealed. And uh, I think like these usually go for like 20 on eBay. All right, now um, I would usually so, I would usually show you like um, things that I, get in stores in order, but, um, I'm kind of tired, so I'm just going to show you, like, what I have, like, in order from for, like, video games. So, uh, starting off, I got two GBA games at Bull Moose. Um, Crash, uh, Crash Bandicoot, The Huge Adventure. Uh, I got it for two ninety seven, which, I mean, for a Crash Bandicoot game, that is amazing, because the Crash Bandicoot g games, like, are pretty expensive nowadays, somehow. I mean, I mean, some of them are actually kind of cheap, but I mean, uh, yeah, I just, uh, one of those games, it's basically just, it's almost like a, a port of a Crash 3, almost. And then I also found, uh, Donkey Kong Country, it's luckily, 
an official one. I look at the serial number to know it's official. Um, and yeah, it was, um, it was $11, which I felt like it was a little much, but it's around a $20 game. And, uh, I just, um, like always pick up like Mario games for the cheap. And, uh, yeah, those are all for, uh, GBA games. This is just random, but here's this, um, CD, uh, cleaner <laughs> that I found at Savers. Uh, I had a 30% off coupon for, uh, Savers. And I just got some, like, random things. Nothing too special, but yeah, here's, um, kind of looks like Solid Snake. Um, just, uh, watching some TV. But, you know. Yeah, it has the little lens cleaner right there. Usually, like, the bristles, like, are, like, all around the disc, but there's, like, only one bristle. I don't actually know if it works or not. I mean, I got it for, like, like a dollar and probably something with 30% off. I don't know, 30 cents, but yeah. Uh, here's um, one of the few VHS tapes I got, and this is actually one that I'll be keeping. This uh, Sailor Moon, The Legend Begins. Yeah, uh, one of these uh, last sold for like 10 with five shipment on eBay. And uh, I don't know, I kind of like it. And uh, yeah, there's Joker from Persona 5, there's Sailor Moon, of course. Uh, I don't remember the name of the cat. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I really don't remember the name of it. I've only I've only watched like a couple episodes of like one of the newer Sailor Moons. But, you know, it, I got it for 30 cents at Bull Moose on um, the VHS all the VHS tapes at uh, Bull Moose are uh, 30 cents, so you know. Um I'm keeping that for sure. And uh here's a few other All right. This is the um yeah, this is the only other PS3 game I got and it is a uh, near. Um I went to uh Bull Moose cuz I noticed that um in their uh like uh website that like they changed some of the prices on their games and this is one of them and i've been looking all over for a copy of near like i haven't found one store that actually had this but i luckily found one it was originally 40 dollars um it was actually um the, the price dropped to uh 20 dollars and um yeah i just like couldn't say no to that and yeah it's like really good condition it is complete um game works and everything and uh yeah i have all the near games on a playstation well the only ps3 near game and uh both uh automata and uh replicant so yeah 20 bucks not bad folklore was also on sale but since i had on hold this is like stupid rule where like i actually have to pay like the 88 just to get the uh the half price deal or whatever i'm not sure um here's um now for ps4 stuff here's the uh rarest PS4 game that I have. Back to the Future the game. It was only 13 bucks. This is a $40 game. This is like the only way to uh play this game, the Back to the Future game. Uh yeah, there's this is like the only way to play it, at least on PS4. And, and the Xbox One version is also pretty rare. But yeah, this was like the like, like a remaster of this. It's also on PS3 as well, which um I think you can actually still buy the PS3 version on digital. Um, there's two different versions. There's, of course, the original one, and there's the anniversary edition for uh, Back to the Future, the uh, 30th. But, yeah, I just, um, I I remember actually wanting this, and I just didn't really see it anywhere. I just never really thought about it as much. I remember seeing it on 360 years ago, but, yeah, I've never played it. I'm actually, uh, I've been buying a lot of Telltale games lately, and uh, I actually want to do, like, a uh, live stream of me, like, playing through a... Uh, as many, like, almost all the, uh, like, Telltale games on PS4, at least the ones that I have not yet completed. I, I still have my, uh, Game of Thrones that I have not played yet. And, uh, here's a game that I've been wanting for a while. Alien Isolation. Uh, that was also, that was also 13 bucks at Bull Moose. And, uh, yeah, sadly the codes did not work, but I'm sure I can buy the DLC and everything. Uh, I've, I've been playing it for a little bit, no jump scares so far, and, uh, yeah, overall, really great game. And here's the last PS4 game I got. Um, Dark Souls 3, um, I thought I, um, got Dark Souls 2 remastered, but, um, I actually ended up getting two copies of Dark Souls 2. They were both $6, which for some weird reason, this, um, Fire Fates edition is actually 12 on the website, but, uh, the person still gave it to me for 6 which I found a little weird, but I mean, it's not, not a bad deal. I mean, it's around $12 game, you know, uh, yeah, Fire Fates edition, which it has all the DLCs, no codes or anything, it's just on the disc, which, I mean, that's amazing. And, uh, yeah, that's all for, uh, PS4. Here's the, uh, only two PS2 games I got, and I actually want to get a few more PS2 games, because my, uh, like, PlayStation shelf, like, like, just has, like, a few PS4 games in the back. 
Here's um, a pretty uncommon PS2 game. Tom and Jerry wore the whiskers. It's basically just a uh, Super Smash Brothers clone almost. Has like the uh, characters from uh, Tom and Jerry and everything. Has the, uh, has the manual, the game works and all. I tested it out. Um, manuals in not so great condition, but I mean, it's not, not terrible. I could probably use a, repla a replacement case and, uh, yeah, overall not bad. And here's the, uh, other PS2 ga game I got. Sadly, no manual, but, um, Legend of Sparrow, New Beginning. It's around like a 10, 10, $15 game. I think I got it for $15. It was in a crappy case at first, but I replaced it with another PS2 case that I had but yeah Sparrow New Beginning sadly they don't have the manual but I mean Sparrow games are like a lot of the stores for some reason that I go to like are selling like Sparrow games for way more than what they usually go for I've been actually seeing like copies of like Sparrow into the Dragonfly for like very cheap but you know what I mean uh here's um and the rest of this stuff is just uh like randomness uh here's another one of these Valentino Beanie Babies so far I think there's like just an air like with the face like it's um I don't know if you can see, but like its face is like a little inverted and the uh, code's also a little, or not really the code, but the um, tag is a little inverted. There's a JA, that's not me. And uh, yeah, I just got it for $2.99 and all, along with another Bean Babe, which isn't valuable or anything. And uh, here's a few like random DVDs and stuff. Deadpool on 4K, I got that at Savers for like three bucks, which I mean, that is uh, interesting that I found a... Uh, 4K Blu-ray at uh, Savers. Here's a movie that I've been actually wanting to watch for a while. Pokemon Lucario on the Mystery Mew. I have not yet watched it, but um, it actually is. It also goes for like quite, um, well, not, not a ton, but it usually goes for like 20 on eBay just because there's like very few copies of this uh, movie out there. Huh, I never, I just noticed that there's like this sleeve thing. I've never noticed that. Like that's, I just like noticed it on the camera and everything. I was like, oh, it's just a sleeve. But yeah, there's uh, Mis uh, Pokemon Lucar, Mystery Mew, and uh, Master Mastermind of uh, Mirage Pokemon, which I've always wanted to watch this movie. Like, uh, I think two of my favorite Pokemon are, um, of course, Lucario and Mew. And yeah, to make a movie out of it, um, I'll definitely watch that sometime if I ever any, have any free time. And uh, my mom just found like a bunch of DVDs, and this is one of them uh, Tom Cruise's American Made. Um, always wanted to watch this movie. Um, I'll watch it sometime. And uh, finally, um, is this really valuable band VHS tape? The uh, band Little Mermaid VHS. I got. I found it at Bull Moose. It was thirty cents. These things go for quite a lot. I mean, used they don't go for much, but um, yeah, I think one of these like used last sold for like thirty free shipping. But yeah, if you're wondering why it was banned, just take a close look at the uh, castle, if my camera can focus. Yeah, you can see it like, oh, right around here. Yeah, you can even see that right there. Uh, I don't really want this VHS tape. Um, I'll probably list it on my Etsy sometime, and if I ever find like a box that I can put this in to, to uh, mail it. But uh, yeah, I also need to get a VCR to actually test this out. But uh, anyway, that's all for this uh Little video and everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'm going to play more Rise of Skywalker. Peace. Bye.